Yo, what's up everyone? Twitch.tv slash GameSager here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to catch up a brand new character as fast as I think you possibly can for when PC comes out. The PC game comes out in NA on May 27th, so in about a week, you guys should be able to play on PC. And yeah, I'm going to help you guys catch up. So immediately after doing this tutorial world, what you're going to want to do is you want to go to this guy called Alfin, the blonde haired dude walking around the area. And he has a bunch of client orders that are super easy to do and just give you 5,000 XP each. And you're just going to get a bunch of levels before you ever do anything else again. So first one you need to do is weapon swapping is key. Very easy. You grab it. And then all you have to do is just switch your weapon. If you're on controller, it's up on the D-pad. If you're on mouse, it's probably just scroll wheel and switch between a weapon palette. That will finish it. Turn it in. Then know how to set photon arts. You pick that one. And then you need to open up your menu. You need to go to equip weapons. And then on your weapon, go to like the third slot. And then put a photon art on it. And then for techniques, you could do the same thing. Just go into a section and then put a technique on it. You should already have one of each. And then you could turn both of the client orders in for set photon arts and set techniques. You might have to do them one at a time, not sure. Um, after that, choose your skills wisely. This one, you grab that quest and then you go over to the skill tree counter, which is over here behind the elevator. Uh, Xbox gets a little laggy sometimes. This is why I can't wait for it to be out on PC. Once you grab that quest, you go up to the class consultant and you need to learn a skill on your skill tree. Now, whatever class you are, just grab the very top one. Don't get into this yet because there is way too much information here to cover in one video, but you should look up a guide for your class. But mo mainly, if you do level up your thing, stay away from leveling up uh, individual stats, points, uh, skills, and only go for the ones that give you uh, like stances. The stance or anything that gives you a percentage boost is better than anything that gives you a normal attack up um, in the skill tree. So anyway, that's for another a different day. So after that, grab an absolute unit from him. This one is really easy to do as well. You can't do it yet, but grab it. After you're done with Elfin, you're going to want to go to Officer Coffee. This is this lady over here. You need to grab the Mag License Trial. The weapon palette extension trial, sub palette extension trial, difficulty level trial might be there. I'm not sure what level that comes in, but it might be level 20. And then practice quest certification. So grab practice quest certification, go to the lady right next to her, and then grab practice quest. Pick whichever training you want for whichever class you picked. Do it very fast, very easy. Turn it into officer coffee, and she will give you a sub unit. Now grab Athens quest for an absolute unit and then go into your units this is in the second menu click equip armor go to units and then equip the unit into every slot you can put the same one in all of them it will take it away from the others but once you put it in each slot you could turn in the client order after you're done with that what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to the shop area and once you get to the shop area go to this back corner and talk to the person named jan now at Jan, he has a bunch of very easy client orders. So first ones, or the ones you can do while you're here is put or remove an item from your storehouse. Just grab that. This storehouse is right next to him. Just put an item inside of the storehouse and then go back to him, talk to him again. You turn it in. And then a primer on Visaphone use. Grab that one. And then you go to this right here. This is the purple one. And you need to go to Arcs Search. Now in Arcs Search, type in Player Search. Just type in a name of someone you know. Mine's Sage if you want to use me and then click on my name, and then it should finish the quest. Um, that's pretty much it. And then you uh, then you could turn in his quest. The auto chat one takes an actual quest to do, so don't even worry about it. And then click the amazing AC shop product list, click on that, go to your menu and go to AC shop and click purchase to inventory, back out, then your client order is done. Turn it in, another 5,000 XP, very easy. You should have quite a bit of levels now. Then you wanna go back, and you want to go to the person named Echo. Go up to Echo, which is this lady right here, Mag Breeder in Training. Grab this one. And then what you need to do is if you already did the client order from Coffee that got you your mag, is you push Escape or Start. Go to Mags. Click on your mag. Equip your mag. Make sure it's equipped. Feed item. And make sure you're feeding it whichever melee, RNG, or tech you want or dexterity mag, which if you're doing certain classes, you would do. But make sure you don't mess this up. You want 201 stat and to do that, you would feed it the weapons, and then you would feed it either a Dimate, Trimate, or Monomate to lower the stats in the other slots. I have a 200 melee support mag on my main character. 
And after you do that, you should be done with most of the easy to do client orders in this area. You should end up around level 15 or 16 or so. It depends. I'm not sure exactly which, but that should help you catch up a little bit. And then what you want to do is you want to go to the equipment officer, go to collection folder, beginner's collection, and then just grab three weapons from here. Um, whichever three you want, pick the ones that you use for your class and then two extras just so that you're doing them on your way through things. As soon as you're done with the client orders and get yourself up to around 15 or 16, you're going to go on to go to one of these pink question mark things, the Visiphone terminals. You're going to go to personal shop, product search, set weapons, set it to whatever weapon type you're using for my instance would be swords. And then you change your rarity settings to nine. All right, search by price and click equipable only at the top. There might be something you could use in here, most likely not. And then just lower the stars until you find one that you could actually equip. Buy that and that should pretty much carry you through hard mode very easily and make hard mode walk in the park for you. In the client orders and getting yourself a weapon, you're going to start wanting to un unlock your uh, expedition quest. So you're going to start with forest exploration. Hopefully the client orders are here at the daily order for forest when PC comes out. But if they're not, you're going to end up doing these until you get there. So when you select a quest like forest exploration, for instance, you will accept the quest. Click accept in current block. And then you are going to go into your menu, go to the globe, the fifth icon over here, go to client orders and click orders that could be accepted during current quest. Grab all of them if you could fit them in your inventory, but <laughs> which you should be able to since you just started. You are going to do this until you hit level 20. Once you hit level 20, you're going to go to officer coffee and you're going to accept her quest for a subclass permit trial and her difficulty level trial one quest. Um, you want to do your subclass as soon as possible because it levels up with you and it will go up all the way to level 55 before it stops gaining XP as your subclass. You should be able to do everything in hard since you bought that weapon and it should be pretty easy. So just keep going and doing explorations and unlocking each exploration as you go and grabbing the client orders each and every single time. This should give you a lot of XP. Every single time an urgent quest shows up, you're going to want to go do the urgent quest and you're going to want to use some tri boost and XP boosters when you do them. And just keep farming urgent quests and you should be able to get from level 20 to around 40 and about a two or three urgent quests. No big deal. You get extra XP boosters and tri boosts from the title keeper over here. And you could also get XP boosters if you have photon spheres. Photon spheres can be gained by taking five 10, ten star units, going to the swap shop and chain trading them for a photon sphere right here. They are very cheap, very easy to get. And you turn them in at this person over here in the shopping district and you could get XP boosters. So you should always be running them when you're doing urgent quest. So as you're going and you're cleaning the explorations and doing your urgent quests, every once in a while you should go back to the player shops and search for a higher rarity weapons and try and see if you could equip something better than you're currently using. Eventually you'll get to the point where you could equip the 10 stars that come with 50 element. Just buy one from the player shop and equip it and it should last you a really long time. Element is actually more important than attack for the most part. So a 50 attack weapon with like even 200 or less attack than a weapon that has 20 element is still better. So your 10 and 11 and 12 stars will be better than unique weapon badge weapons that are 13 stars until you use three of the 13 stars to turn them into 50 element weapons. Once you're getting to around level 50, you're going to finish a quest in here. You need to click on arcs missions, main missions, and turn these in. You will get 10 capsules of A capsules, B capsules, and C capsules. What you need to do is you go to officer coffee, you click new mission forest. Grab New Mission Forest, go to Quest Counter, and go to Subquest, Advanced Quest, and then Advanced Directive Forest, very hard, and accept that quest. You're going to want to do this with four people. It works much better that way, and this is how you're going to end up leveling up for the rest of the time, this and Urgent Quest. The best places to do for XP are Nightfall, Providence, Daybreak Providence, and Floating Facility. They also are a lot harder than a lot of the lower tier places. The easiest ones I found to get XP early on are City and Seabed and Forest, Volcano. Just pick them. Pick any of them that you want. But yeah, the bottom three are the hardest ones to do, but they are worth the most XP. These work is you want to raise the threat level as high as you can. You should have started with 10 capsules, so just raise it to plus 9, get a group of players, and then you should get enough capsules for uh, to do 
the next ones that require B and the next ones that require C. You want to cycle the missions to do ones that do A caps, B caps, and then C caps. Always raise the threat level as high as you can for each of them and bring as many players as you can because you will always make enough back to make it more. And the higher the threat level, the more capsules you get. So just keep raising the threat level and going in a circle. Whenever an urgent quest pops up, go back and do the urgent quest and then come back to doing these. And that is the fastest way you could currently level up. At a certain point while leveling, you're going to want to upgrade your units and your weapons again, so always check the player shops. If you are in a melee attack main, I just recommend just using the Vardar armor, which is really easy. So what you want to do is go to the shops, put 10 stars units, search, and then for a melee class, just grab three of the Vardar sets because they're very cheap and they give you a decent set bonus. They're not the best, but they are useful for very cheap loadout. If you are a ranger or a force type, so if you're using ranged weapons or tech based weapons, you're going to want to get the lightning dog sets, the, the really cheap ones that are 10 stars. So the Alaga what, Alaga whatever, those ones, you'll find them when you're searching in the units, just grab one of each. They have a soul and sigma, which gives plus 20 range, plus 20 tech and plus seven PP. So it's, they're big basically the best cheapest set you could possibly get for early game. You should also make sure you never spend your rising weapon badges on rising or on Nox weapons. You want to send it on the spend them on the Brisa set because the Brisa set is pretty much like the second or third best armor that you could use in the game currently and you could also sell them if you have a player shop. So make sure you never turn your rising weapon badges in for a weapon. It is a complete waste. Always use it on the Brisa set on the very bottom. Do not use them on the weapons. Huge waste of rising weapon badge. So now you're level 75. You've done all this. You've been farming your advanced quest and your urgent quest, and you want weapons to catch up. Easy. So once you max out, if you are a melee character to get your weapon, your best weapons, you're going to want to search for 13 stars of whichever weapon you want and just focus on one for now because you're just starting. So if you are, but if you are a ranger, you want to go to the player shops and buy yourself a elder rifle that is 50 element it'll be 50 element light and that is the best gun in the entire game currently for rangers if you are a force you want to buy a psycho wand these are both 12 star weapons and they are very very easy to grind compared to 13 stars and yet they are much better for some reason they were buffed in na they have very good perks on them you should get those two weapons if you're a ranger or a force but for any other class you're just going to pick whichever 13 star weapon has the potential that you like the most once you have the weapons that you want for your class of your max level, you're going to want to go to Item Scientist Doodoo. You might have already done this already because when you're leveling up, you could do this with your 10 star and it's really easy and will help out a lot. But for your main weapons, if they are the 12 stars, the Elder Rifle and the Psycho Wand, they are very easy to grind. You just use normal grinders and put other 10 star to 12 star weapons into it to get it to level up really fast. But if you're doing your 13 stars, they require Lambda Grinders, which is like my Sword Revulsia, my Lance, and my Imperial Pick. All these require Lambda Grinders. You want to use as little of these as possible because they're kind of hard to get. You get three per a day on one character above 50. If you have three characters, you can get nine per a day very easily. You just drink a shift of drink, and then you claim it in your quest, and it will give you three Lambda Grinders on all three characters. That's what I do, so I get about nine a day. And what you want to do to level 13 stars is you want to take 12 star weapons and you want to grind them up to be really high and you want to try and get each one of these 13 stars plus 10 levels at a time. So for the first 10 it takes about a level 26 12 star I believe and then it takes more and more as you go on. You'll figure this out as you go or there are text based guides for this but it would be a really long video if I got into it. But anyway you want to grind your weapons up to at least plus 30 and then you will be pretty much set for end game and everything you'll be pretty much caught up besides Masetta. Um, that's for another day but if you do make three characters above level 50 you could get 7 million Masetta per a week without doing basically anything. I currently have like 90 million Masetta and that's pretty much it. They should pretty much catch you up. You're still going to be pretty far behind on Masetta, but this could get you to level 75 in a couple days and will get you with good base starting weapons and everything else so that you can start farming for the things that you actually want. I hope this video helped. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I will be streaming this game when it comes out on PC at twitch.tv slash gamesager. Currently, I just stream Destiny for the most part, but I definitely want to stream this game more once it comes out on PC. Anyway, thank you for watching.